All right. Why is that nation not light tournament? Um, I didn't look at the Toys Toy Cup. I have no idea what the what that event is. I know I know we went five out of five yesterday, but I, I, I maybe I'll pull it up quickly. Okay, let's let's pull this up. Um, let's pull this up. Let's let's take a look at this event before we go to Norway Chess. Um, change the scene one second. There we go. All right, so let's let's pull this up. So Toys Toy Cup. We'll pull up Anisha's game. We'll watch the game uh, for the moment, and then we'll um, and then I'll take a look at the standings and talk just a little bit about it as well um yeah all right so what's going on so this is round nine anisha's black against anton korobov looks pretty normal so far grunfeld opening um yeah Let's see so h4 is played so probably you play knight a5 here normally when white plays this h4 line you do it without castling so for example i is it i think f3 is one of the lines and something like f3 the bishop d7 h4 something like this where white can go for an early h4 uh, but to do this with castles is definitely a little bit unusual, I would say, in terms of what we have here. Federer Sag, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what you're referring to, but anyway. So yeah, so let's just cover this a little bit. It's a rapid game. It's going to end pretty soon, um, and then we'll move over to Nor Norway Chess for a bit. I'm going to do a speed run. We have a lot of videos queued up that I want to um, get to today as well, chess-related. We have a few articles, so it's going to be a fun day, everybody. Hope you're, in for, hope, hope you're ready for the, for the ride. So that's that, that's what I would say right now. All right. Um. Anyway, let's see. So e5 is played by Anish here. I guess the idea is Anish is farming Elo. Hey, more power to Anish. He was clearly invited to this tournament. I'm assuming he was given given a nice big big fat bag of cash uh, to play the event because it looks like a very soft event. So I don't I don't really know why he would be playing this event. Otherwise, let me go back and look at the results. Let's see. So who's playing this event? There's um. Vidyugov, Alexienko, Matlikov, Tomashevsky, Pravian, Korobov, Andrekin, Gelfand, Abdustarov, and Giri. Actually, this is a very weird field, I have to say. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand this. I, I'm guessing Anish was given, was given a big appearance fee for this because it does look a little bit weird when you look at this field. Like, Anish is significantly better than all these players except for me. I know, I know they're using rapid ratings, but significantly better than everyone except for, I would say, Andrekin. And maybe Vidyugov. Maybe Vidyugov. I mean, Boris is a very strong chess player, but he's not hes not as young anymore, so I really wouldn't put him in that, that category. But there are maybe two players here who are comparable to um, comparable to Geary. So it's a very, yeah, it's a very weird field. Um, yeah, very, very, very strange. All right. Actually, so let's, let's go back. Um, let's pull up the game. Anish is stuck in there with them. They're stuck in there with him. Yeah. He carved the hardest word in streamer chess. I try to do what I can, you guys. I will say, I mean, it's a lot. I have to say, um, I mean, it's it's been a lot traveling, doing all these different things, um, and so forth. Where were the players before round nine and nine? Alex, why did it start late? I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so e5 is played. So so if white goes d5, knight a5, bishop d3, then I just eat the juicer, I assume. Uh, but if you don't go d5, black's going to chop the center and h4 is weak. And then also the double op combo is very strong. So it looks like you probably have to go d5 here. Did I play tennis with the players? Um, what do you mean? I, I don't know what you mean by that. Thank you to Scintilla of Enui for the 5. Thank you to Mike Sam for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I was surprised by Rapport's performance. I haven't been following. I'm catching up with everything you guys with, with you guys as well. Um, long story short, long story short, I'll say this. Um... When I was in St. Louis, due to some errors, I, I would say that probably on the three days that I played in the played in the event, I probably spent on average before every round two hours on hold with customer service with a local bank. Um, so I, I had a lot of other stupid things that I had to deal with during the event. So like I was not doing anything except literally dealing with all kinds of silly stuff and then having to go play games. Um, so so yeah, it's like. Um, it was it was it was very very annoying very annoying couple of days let's let's put it that way <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything more but yeah it was very it was very frustrating so there were 20 different things that I had to deal with um, during it Yo bounce back when the meltwater event eh it's it's what it is I mean a there are things going on B I just played badly frankly uh, there's nothing more that needs to be said um, I just didn't play great chess and uh, you know what happens I've been very busy I've also been traveling a lot um you know it's what it is all right so bishop d5 is played by white i guess the idea is to blunt the bishop on b7 here so i guess you can't take the pawn because probably when white takes and again in some situation like this even i know c4 is not the best move but you'll see white has a classic wooden shield here 
So this this wooden shield is very strong on d5. Is that the reason I went 0 and 3? No, I think the reason I went 0 and 3 on the first day is that is that um I got somewhat tilted by the first game, which I shouldn't have lost. Um, and then I just I just made a crazy blunder second game and third game I just got a bad position out of the opening. You know, I, I would say about 960. The one thing the one thing that I don't like about 960 specifically is that if you it's, if you if you don't get out of the opening with an with an okay position, generally you're just lost. It's not even where you can be slightly worse in play. You generally just lose if you're worse out of the opening. Um, so that's the one thing that I, I really don't like about 960. The other thing I would say is that it proves that the devs, you know, thousands of years ago knew what they were doing with their piece placement, because clearly the pieces belong on the squares that they are in regular chess and not, not in 960. All right. So Bishop D5 is played. Pawn takes pawn is played. Um, I guess, I mean, of course you have to take, let's see. Yeah, no, I mean, the devs, devs got it all right. Did I see the Knight of Six move by Wesley? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. I did see that. Also, you guys, it is the great month of September. So if you are, are actually, let me, let me make my cam a little bit bigger. Uh, it is the great month of, um, of, uh, of September, which means it is September, you guys. So it, um, not the right window. One second. I'm saying I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, there we go. All right. Um, it, it is it is the great month of September, you guys. So what that means, of course, is that um, is that it is September. So if you do su give subs to the to the community, you guys, you get twenty percent off. Um, so if you get five subs instead of it costing twenty five dollars dollars. Obviously, one sub equals five dollars. If you get five instead of twenty five dollars, it costs twenty dollars. So five dollars off 9 11 memory sag i don't really want to talk about politics today you guys but what i will say is um is that as far as 9 11 goes i mean i i remember i remember it quite well because it was uh because I, I was growing up in new york at the time it was just it was really it was just one of those really bizarre days so i do remember it was, it was a nice um it was like a nice sunny day and i i want to say it was either like right before the second tower second second plane hit um or right after but basically you know i just woken up um and and my stepfather got a call from a from a friend of his. He's like, you should turn on the TV. The World Trade Centers have been hit. And obviously, then you know you turn on the TV, and the rest, of course, is is you know just um is history. So um, yeah, it's you know sad day, sad day for sure. Also, to compound matters, you guys, I will say this. Unfortunately, September 11th is also my stepfather's birthday, which does not um which which unfortunately after what happened means that basically you know we no longer can celebrate his birthday either. So yeah, it's just one of those things. All right, you guys. Um, did Slack did Slack make a noise? I think Slack did make a noise. Let me let me let me mute let me mute the Slack. Um, let me mute the Slack. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but yeah. All right. Okay. So anyway, what happens? So we have Bishop D five takes 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 knight takes D four is played here. Do I think that I play nine sixty blitz regularly? That we get accustomed positions. I mean, I've I've that's like the only time I've played badly in nine sixty. I've every other time I've played nine sixty, I've had pretty good results. So uh, I think I think what I would say is that in general, it's just it was just a bad event, plain and simple. You're not always going to play well. You have bad events here or there. And as I said, the silver lining, of course, is that if I'm going to play badly in an event, it's much better that I play badly in a nine sixty event than I play badly in um in like a, a in like a rapid and blitz event. That that's what I would say. Um. All right. So what happens? So CD4 knight takes D4. Um, oh, and actually, you guys, I, I realized I do need to call my stepfather because yesterday was his birthday of September 11th, and it was his 70th birthday. So, um, so I will, I will need to give him a call at some point later today. Thank you to Oliver Shapelo for the prime. Thank you to Killazord for the prime as well. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. All right. Um, so what? So right now, Anish is thinking 11 minutes. Um, I don't know if he's going to take on d4 if he's going to go knight a5 there are multiple options here my instinct is that knight a5 is eh, seems like the right move but i don't know if i'm happy with this position because this, this knight is really good it hits the pawn and i have a fork idea so it looks kind of good for white but we'll, we'll see what he does seeing a little gray in your hair i don't think there's any gray in my hair but thank you um yeah give him a call on stream uh that would just be weird you guys that would just be weird That'd be very, very weird. Um, oh, wait, is there a tactic? Can you take and take? Because if takes, there's knight up through with the clean fossil. Oh, uh, this might be headed for a draw. Uh, this might be headed for some kind of... Uh, this might be headed for a draw. 
Thank you to Twin Flash for the nine months. Thank you so much, Twin Flash. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, you guys, if you're asking me about politics, I, I generally don't like to talk about politics. Um, and the main reason I don't is because, frankly, I think a lot of people, when they come on Twitch, um, Twitch, YouTube, whatever it is, people kind of want to get away from that. You know, if I turn on the TV, I, I'm going to see political nonsense all the time. And I think a lot of people, when they want to... Um, when they when they when they want to like watch stuff on Twitch or they want to watch stuff on YouTube, generally it's to get away from get get away from all of that. If they want to watch that, I think generally they're going to go to some channel like Hassan and and hear all kinds of insane takes. But otherwise, I think for the most part, um, people don't want to hear that when they when they when they um when they, when they get when they get um when they come on Twitch. All right. So okay, so let's see. So Queen takes C four is played. So I guess probably trading is going to happen here. Um, trading or maybe Rook C one and the Bishop D five. But I, I would say that I think in general, Ani should be fine here. A little bit worse, but not the end of the world. So we'll see. All right. Um, Ani's just 10 minutes. He's surely going to trade. I, he's either going to trade or he's going to take on C1 and trade. My instinct is that he'll probably trade because it doesn't really make sense to give white um, white the pass pawn and additionally a C file for the rook as well. This, this looks kind of sketchy to me. So I, I would assume that Ani will probably... Oh, plays H5. Wow. Um, so he plays h5. Interesting. So if white trades, he trade and Ah, uh, this is hanging maybe. Unclear. Complicated position, but I still think white should be better. Um, white should be white should be better here. It, it's just my instinct that with the wooden shield in the middle of the board, somehow white should be better. Especially also because all these pawns are on light squares for the light square bishop. Whereas white's pawns are on dark squares, potentially white will obviously connect them in a move or two. So instinctively, I feel like white is better here. So yeah. All right. Is this live? Yes, you guys, we are live. How do I deal with the trolls and the haters? Um, I I, th I think I th I think you, you guys asked me how do I deal with the trolls and the haters. Um, you know when I when I go to bed every night, I just log on to my Chase account. I see the money in my bank account. And that that all that always reassures me that I know I'm doing good things. All right. Anyway, um, okay. Let's let's see. Okay, Rick takes C8 is slave, Queen takes C8. And I'm guessing that probably you should play like Bishop B3 here, keep the bishop on the board. Um, yeah, I mean I'm I'm somewhat joking, you guys, but but obviously, uh no, I think I think what I would say, Chase private client confirmed. That's not really saying very much, X food. Be, I think to be Chase private client, you have to have like a hundred thousand dollars with the bank or something. So that's not really saying very much. Um but anyway, um, okay, let's see. So probably bishop b3 or maybe maybe rook d1 and takes and d6 works here. Because again, if you get the pawn going up the board with the queen and the rook behind, it looks kind of dangerous. Um, but again, I suspect that Anish is going to be able to make the draw here pr pretty routinely. That's what I would say. I thought Chase private client was 1 million. Oh, I don't, I don't know, actually. I, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, anyway, what, whatever, whatever. All right. So let, let's see what, what is white going to do here? There's, there's Rook D1 or Bishop, Bishop B3. Was, was Fabiano sad if you pointed Queen takes E5? When Fabiano and I discussed the game afterwards, we saw Queen D5, not Queen E5, because we're both just bad chess players. Um, so I, I, I think Fabiano, we said he's like, it became very messy and he felt that he should have actually just made the draw with Bishop A2, um, and, and done that. But Again, it was a messy game. I should have lost that game. Um, but yeah. Anyway, a a as I was saying, you guys, though, um, yeah, trolls and haters are always going to exist no matter what you do in life. Um, but you know what? You at, at some point you just have to tune them out. Either you have to tune them out, or you, you have to use them for for uh, for like the, the the motivation, one one or the other. Um, But yeah, how to deal with the haters. Yep, exactly, you guys. All right. Um, yeah. Thank you, Paschetti, for the 17 months as well. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so like Bishop Bishop B3 or Rook D1 are the only two moves I see here. And actually, sure enough, they're the top two moves. I wasn't even looking, and now I see they are the top two moves. Um, that's what I was saying. 
same way why now you guys are talking about other things like tennis yeah it's 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 what it is like i mean i expect novak to win today you guys i i, I did watch the end of the third set and and most of the four and actually i think all the fourth set into the start of the fifth um but I had, to, I had to pack and do some other stuff but i would say again i mean i feel like there are only two players who are on the same level as djokovic objectively and it's you know federer and nadal and of course neither of them are are, are able to play right now so i expect djokovic to win I mean, unless, I mean, Medvedev was amazing as Rafa like two two years ago, I think it was at the U.S. Open. So maybe Medvedev can pull something off, but I still doubt it somehow. I just doubt it. What are my next chess tournaments? My next chess tournaments, you guys, are I will be playing in the online, um, I will be playing in the Meltwater Champions Tour final that we will have coverage on our channel here. It will be September 25th to October 4th. So we have that coming up. Um, And then after that, at the end of o October, I will be playing in the Grand Swiss held in Riga, Latvia. I think it's October 25th to like November 8th, roughly. So that's what I would say. Do I ever get demotivated? Not really, you guys. Not really. Um, is Arena Kings ongoing? I don't know when Arena Kings will be starting up again, but I assume there will be a new season of it at some point. Why didn't Anish take the free pawn on H4? Um, well, if you take the pawn on H4 here, I just line up. I mean, this is deadly. Like, basically, you're just getting absolutely destroyed. The, the, the double op combo here is just going to finish you combined with the battery potential. Um, with queen h8 or queen g7 i mean you you just basically lose here um so that's why you couldn't take there um if you're asking why you couldn't take here it's because you just lose a piece on c6 basically you're, you're you just lose material so um so that's kind of why he didn't do it and actually here he still can't take because then you lose the bishop on b7 and if you trade i take and now my queen guards both pawns so that's that's the reason um that it doesn't work what i say about riga yeah there's uh, the grand swiss tournament held in riga latvia Okay, so what just happened? So queen d4, h5, trade, rook d1, rook e8, bishop b3. I think on, I think Anish is maybe going to lose this game. This looks very, very scary. Great bishop. Queen is coming to f6, maybe takes. And here, again, yeah, rook e1. I mean, again, everything is kind of collapsing here for black. It's very, very soft. Um, and you're, you're in really bad shape here. So, okay, so I guess queen f6 probably. Or wait, there's, wait. Queen b7 and black kind of hangs on. Barely rookie one, rook f8. Very scary position, but I think Anish might be able to salvage it. I would still probably play queen f6, although queen d7 is also very is also very strong as well. Multiple ideas. Let's see which one he goes for. My instinct says he's gonna play queen f6, but he might go, he might just go queen d7 here. Are you participating in the U.S. Championship if there is one, and why not? I am not participating in the U.S. Championship. I basically didn't make a choice, you guys, between playing the Grand Swiss or playing the U.S. Championship. And look, if I win the U.S. Championship, that would be very nice. I, I would obviously be very happy to win a sixth U.S. Championship. Um, but I would say that if I win the U.S. Championship, there's nothing more other than the title. If I find a way to win the um, to win the Grand Swiss, however, I qualify for the candidates tournament. So I'm gonna if I'm gonna take my shot, shoot my shot, as they say, as they say on Twitch. Um, you, you know, I, I'd much rather take it on the, uh, I'd much rather take it going, going after a candidates than, um, going after candidates rather than a U.S. championship. That's a simple reason. Nothing else. Um, why are they scheduling all these events overlapping? Um, a good question, Andrew. You know, you know what I would say? Um, and, and again, this is, this, this is more chess, po chess politics than anything else, but I would say there's something to be said for the fact that I feel like within the chess world, people have not really understood that the best way to get, get more viewers, the way to keep people entertained is to talk to each other and figure out schedules that are working, whether it's between chess.com and chess24, whether it's, and I'll also then for that matter, like say the US Championship in St. Louis and then um, and then FIDE with the Grand Swiss, there should be some sort of, I, I don't know if collaboration is the word, but there should be, there should be coordination um, on all these events because what's happening now is you're having all these events just running on top of each other and basically people are getting chessed out. That's, 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 that's really a simple reality. And, um, and, and it, it's just, it's, un, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. So yeah, all right, let's see. So queen f6 is played. So let's see if Anish finds, apparently queen b7 is the only move that doesn't lose. And he does find it, yeah. Theta Matt unfiltered for the five months. Thank you so much. Isn't the Meltwater final over the board? Uh, some of us are going to be playing um, over the internet. Wesley is going to be playing from uh, uh, Minnetonka, I believe. Um, I'm going to be playing from, uh, from LA. I think, uh, I think everyone else might be there. I don't know if Maxime is going to be in, in Norway or not, but for all, all of us, it's not possible to go. 
uh, Wesley and myself specifically, because I think Norway has an auto quarantine as well. So I don't know if it's before or after, but you have to quarantine in Norway for like 10 days or something at least. Um, so like, there's just, I mean, there's just no option. What's the point then? Just get everyone to play online. I mean, I don't know. They probably, they probably have a big studio and a lot of people want to watch. That's what I would say. Do I think COVID will ever end? Um, uh, no, you guys, I don't think COVID will ever end. I think we missed the boat. Like at, at this point, COVID is not, COVID is here to stay. Uh, there are going to be variants, whatever. I basically, my attitude towards it is I think that there's going to come a point when basically the strains stop, you know, they, they stop being as potent and pe people stop dying and, and it'll be kind of like the flu at some point. That's what I would say, but it's, it's not going to go away. It's, it's definitely not going to go away at this point. The genie's out of the bottle and it's what it is. So yeah. My opinion, more viewers are being bored from playing the game, find more more interesting getting involved on participating in your games. I don't know what that means exactly, but yeah, I would say I, I, I would say in general, um I, I would say in, in, in general that I feel like, for example, I'll, I'll use PogChamps as, uh, as an example. You see, like, PogChamps numbers have not been what they were in the past. Now, there, there are many reasons you can say for that, but they have not been what they were before. And the same goes for the Meltwater tournament, which has generally been – maybe not Melt – Meltwater hasn't conflicted with Pog4, but, like, the St. Louis event was conflicting directly, basically, with PogChamps4. And also, Norwich has is going on at the same time as well. So what happens is you have too many events going on and too, too many – I mean – there's only so much time people have in the day for chess and you can't like, you can't just pile on top of, on top of each other like that. And, and you know, every, everything suffers because of it is what I would say. So, yeah. All right. Um, so rookie one is played. So I guess you have to go rook F eight. I mean, it looks so scary with these, these pawns under attack, but I mean, I, I guess it's still okay. F three Bishop D five, close the diagonal create your own wooden shield in the middle of the board. And it's probably okay, but um, still tricky, tricky. How was it meeting Gary after so long? Do you guys spend time outside the board? Um, I spoke to Gary a little bit, not that much. Um, uh, again, I mean, Gary, Gary, obviously, you know, there's there's no one quite like him for sure. So it's, it's always fun. Do you even lift, bro? I went to the gym last night and did, I did a lot of reps. I did, I did go to the gym because I, I missed like four days since I was in, um, I was in, uh, since I, since I was in St. Louis, I, I missed like four days of the gym. So I, I had to like double down last night. I'll probably double down later today too. Um, was I surprised that Gary took a draw against me? Um, not really. I think, I think I, I had a feeling Gary was going to take a draw there. I figured he thought he was better, but he wasn't a hundred percent sure what to do. Show, do I have a six pack? No, I don't. But my, my arms are getting bigger. I will say that. Um, so yeah. All right. Um, is queen g6 a move? No, queen g6 is not a move because black takes, uh, do, do players mingle outside events, dinner, etc. Sometimes they do big daddy patty. I think, I think everybody is different. So for me, I generally don't. And the reason, um, chat doesn't fit on stream. I think chat does fit on stream. No chat looks fine. Doesn't it? I'll make it a little bit bigger. No chat does fit on stream or does it wait? No, maybe it does. No, actually wait. No, sorry. I, 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 I blundered. I blundered. I blundered. I blundered. There we go. Um, I blundered. You guys are right. It, it wasn't. Um, now, now it fits on. Now it fits. My, my apologies, you guys. Um, okay, so. <laughs> yes, this was not placed, you guys. Uh, this is. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so we had more. We have more moves. This is played. Takes. Okay, seven. I mean, this is gonna this is gonna be a draw here. Probably probably B five here and stabilize. Um, but yeah, what I would say is that uh, I don't do that. I'm I, I have to say um, I, I I generally go out to dinner far out into the county outside of the city of St. Louis. Normally, my trainer Chris Littlejohn he he drives from Dallas, Texas, and um and so because he drives, he has a car, and we normally go out on our own, just the two of us, or if my stepfather's around, the three of us, and we we generally drive like twenty minutes away from from where the event's being held, and uh, and we we do that um can i can i can i get a dinner with you very funny um uh, it's like that's like warren buffett you guys same thing maybe i'll do a charity charity auction to raise money all right so i guess here probably b5 i think b5 just stabilizes for anisha it should be a draw
anyway um all right so this game is going to be a draw again we'll cover this for a little bit then we're gonna then we're gonna move on to um norway chess for a little bit we're gonna do the speed run obviously a little bit later on as well um uh but yeah we'll we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll keep it pretty fluid what play chess players have i eaten dinner with i mean we, we've we've all like we've there have all been closing ceremonies and dinners and things so i mean we we've all we've all spent plenty of time around each other a bit of geogats are sure i mean maybe later yeah why not um, what do I think of the Ultimoves exhibition? I mean, it was a fun event. Uh, that's what I say. What is the speedrun topic? It is um the speedrun. Yeah, rookie we it's a good move, by the way, Bunny. She's just gonna trade the queens off and kill the position. Queen e5, draw and move move along and finish the finish this event with I think uh how many points with eight out of nine or seven and a half out of nine, but very, very impressive performance by Anish. Um, so that, that's what it's gonna be. Have I eaten with Magnus? Very funny. Have I kept up at all with the current pod champs? No, not not at all. I mean, I've I've been I've been very busy. Obviously, I've been traveling a lot. Uh, I was in Colombia, then I went to St. Louis. I'm just back now. Uh, so I basically I've seen a little bit of Norway chess. More moves, by the way. We have yeah, a four trade. Yeah, um, this will be drawn very soon. But 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 what I would say is that um, I've kept up just a bit with Norway chess. But that's it. That's it. Was I rooting for five to win since he just joined TSM? Like I said, I haven't been following Pog Champs. Uh, like I, I didn't even know he had joined TSM until until Hafu told me. Um, but but anyway, yeah. So so like I just haven't been I just haven't been been following at all. I followed a little bit of Norway chess outside of my tournament. That's the, that's the amount of the chess I've been following. Thank you to Andy Gu, Giorgio for the five months. Why don't you play classical chess that much? Because I'm focused on being a streamer first and foremost. Secondly, there aren't many classical tournaments. Third, you guys trying to um. No, nobody wants to watch classical chess on the internet. That's the, that's the, the the blunt blunt third and blunt reason to to be honest. Um, like is is that nobody wants to watch classical chess? I mean, that's just the reality. Like a, a lot of you are willing to willing to watch like rapid chess, of course, because rapid chess is is um is, is a lot of fun. It's fast paced. By the way, the game is finally drawn. Um, but classical chess just isn't very exciting. It's five hours, uh, low numbers, no hype. It's not it's not very exciting. That's what I would say. All right, so Anish wins this event. Very impressive score. He gets seven wins, two draws, eight points. Uh, he farmed the field, definitely was smurfing it. Uh, but, but congrats, Anish. Great event. 